Hello friends, in this video we will see another type of the problem in alphabet test reasoning topic. Okay, so the another type of the problem is like that. In original alphabet, in original alphabets, if first half is written in, if first half is written in, reverse order reverse order then which will be the which will be seventh from left which will be seventh from left let us consider another problem based on the same type if the first half is written in reverse order which will be the tenth from left okay tenth from the left okay so now you know the first half contains from a to M A B C D E F G H I J K L M. So these are the first all, right? These M is the thirteen. Okay, there are total twenty six characters are there. I mean twenty six letters are there. So the first half is A to M. So if you are start counting from here, so it is going to be from left. If you start counting from M to A, so that is from from right. From Right. Okay. So now, in original alphabets, if the first half is written in reverse order, so whenever we written in the reverse order, so then this one will become reverse order. This one will become from left, and this one will become from right. This one will become from right. But which will be the seventh from the left? So then. Which will be the seventh from the left. So now, this one is actually original order, right? But after reversing this from this side, it will become from left. So after reversing, he asking which will be the seventh from the left. So from left, the seventh is going to be what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is the G. So that is the G. Okay. So the answer the first question is the G. Now second. One. If the first half is written in reverse order, which will be the tenth from the left? So again, so they are in original order. Then, if you are counting from A to M, so that is from left. If you are counting from M to A, so that is from right. But here, the first half is written in reverse order. So when we reverse, uh, write in the reverse order, so then from right will become from left, and from left will become from right. So, if the first half is written in reverse order, which will be the tenth from the left? So that means we have to take tenth from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten is what? D. So the answer for the second one is the D. Okay. So how we have to we can solve this kind of problem smartly? So if the first half is written in the reverse order, so which will become seventh from the left? so whenever you see the reverse okay whenever you see the reverse so that means from left will become from right so that means from right we have to find the seventh letter from right we have to find the seventh letter so already you know from right to find the seventh how many letters are there it is selling first half only so first half contains 13 so but actually we have to subtract this one from 14 so 14 minus Seven. So I am taking in the previous video also I told whenever you are finding from right we have to subtract from the twenty seven instead of the twenty six. So here also first half contains only thirteen alphabets, but we we have to find from right from first half. So that's why we have to subtract from the fourteen. So fourteen minus seven is seven. So this one will give the actually from left. Okay, from right the seventh letter. I mean, from left the seventh letter. Why? Because it is reverse. 
so then this one will become from right so from right 7 is uh, 7 so we have to subtract that 7 from the 14 again we got the 7 so this is from left from left 7 is what according to the easy OTY rule ok so E is the 5th and 6th is the F and then 7th is the G ok so what I am trying to say is so whenever reverse is there from left will become from right from right we have to find the 7th so E is asked the half half contains 13 so we have to subtract this 7 from the 14 so 14 minus 7 is 7 so that means we have to find the 7th letter from the left so that is so now let's come to the second one. If the first half is written in reverse order, so here it is reverse is there. So from left will become from right. So from right we have to find the tenth. From right we have to find the tenth. So from right we have to find the tenth. So that means in the first half contains the 14, I mean 13 uh, alphabets, but we have to subtract this 10 from the 14. So 14 minus 10 is going to be how much? 4. So that means we have to find the fourth letter from the left so the fourth letter from the left is what d okay so that's what we got so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel